talk about the debt ceiling all over again, okay? Because if you have not checked out my video uh, from last week on Saturday, you can check it up up here somewhere. I'm going to be linking it out up here. Okay, so let's talk about debt ceiling, okay? If we do not actually get to a actual deal by this week, we are going to have some problems up ahead. Okay, so let's talk about this whole debt ceiling situation. Right now, Biden is kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Okay, the Democrats do not want him to go for a deal with the Republicans. And he himself feels that he needs to kind of, you know, lobby for a deal uh, some way or another in order to ensure that this debt ceiling do not cause a default in the government. Now, there's two ways for us to actually go around doing this. The Democratic Party thinks that if they were to actually go into a bargaining, a negotiation with the Republicans, they are going to be getting a worst off deal and they would have to actually sacrifice on all those different policies that the Democratic parties have already set up in the whole entire term that they have been doing because in order to do so, they definitely have to cut down on spending for them to actually negotiate for a deal to move forward. Okay, if you know if you keep on increasing the debt limit, then this is just kicking the can down the road over and over again. Every single time when you say you want to increase the debt ceiling limit, Basically, what's going to be happening is negotiation is going to be going, uh, taking place, uh, aka, you know, you're going to be saying, okay, you know, I'm going to be cutting down spending here and there, you know, I'm going to be uh, spending less on this, I might be still keeping the same amount over here, I will not be increasing in the next few years, things like, of that nature, okay? So right now, basically, Biden don't really have any more options for this whole entire debt ceiling fight, okay? Because if he were to enter a debt ceiling negotiation, with Kevin McCarthy, which is the House Speaker, if he were to enter this um, debt ceiling uh, negotiation with him, the Democratic Party is not going to be supportive of this whole entire situation. And of course, if they're not going to be supportive of this entire situation, then you know there's going to be some issues uh, from here on out because that means that when you're going to be voting Biden into the White House, there's going to be some issue. And, and of course, you know, uh, that way they can actually ensure that the debt ceiling do not actually collapse and the AD fault can actually be avoided. Now, the other option for Biden is to actually follow on with the Democratic Society, uh, the Democratic uh, Party, by just saying, "Okay, you know what? We're not going to be, uh, uh, we're not going to be bargaining with uh, you guys on any of these different uh, policies. We're not going to be cutting any of our policies. We believe that our policies are right. We believe our policies are the best for the citizen, and we're not going to be." We're not going to be pushed back by this whole entire debt ceiling situation. If you want to default us, go ahead. But we are going to continue to fund for all these different policies. What this would actually do is that the Democratic uh, Party would have a lot more faith in Biden. But of course, because the 2024 election is going to be coming up, and if Biden were to actually cause a default in the government in this current debt ceiling negotiation, this would lower his approval rating during the election. And honestly speaking, his approval rating is already all the way down low. Okay? I think he's like only second to Rogan. Okay? So I don't think that that's going to be uh, a good image for Biden on its own. Uh, of course, that's not what uh, President uh, Biden is intending for this to actually go down. So that's why uh, right now, the um, everyone is kind of just looking at it because by June... First, okay, the 1st of June, uh, effectively, uh, the United States need, needs to be able to pay off all their bills, okay, which is like about $31 trillion, if I'm not mistaken, uh, somewhere in the, tri well, somewhere in the $30 trillion or so. It could be 31 it could be 32 it could be 33 Well, just an additional Apple company, something along those lines, okay. So, of course, you know, if for them to actually get that, that out of the way, you know, if they want to pay off their whole entire $31 trillion worth of debt, there's also multiple ways for them to do so, okay? Of course, we can talk about a trillion dollar coin, which is basically Congress uh, minting a coin that is worth a trillion dollar and then just passing that one trillion dollar over and then just paying off that one trillion dollar. Yeah, I mean, you could hypothetically do that. Uh, that could actually work. But of course, I don't think the Congress would actually do so. Uh, I don't think this is uh, what people would call as inflation. It's not inflation because you're not really printing money. You are, you are printing money but you're printing money to get rid of the debt. You're not printing money and giving it to people for them to spend. It's not going to be affecting supply chain. It's not going to be affecting supply and demand per se, but it will clear the debt. But I think that the Congress probably wouldn't want uh, to actually go with that whole entire situation. Okay, so 
how this would actually turn out uh, because chances are you're going to be watching this either on a Wednesday or on a Thursday so chances are you're probably going to be seeing a result coming up either today or tomorrow okay um, about the whole entire debt ceiling situation of course if this actually get brought f f uh, to the, in the following week then I guess at that time we probably already know if the government is going to be shut down or not okay so yeah I mean basically that's the current progress that we actually have for the entire debt ceiling uh, personally of course a lot of people are saying that they are really really confident that there will not be a government default happening they feel that this debt ceiling is going to be um, continued to be extended again according to Jim Cramer but let's be honest it's because of Jim Cramer so a lot of people are starting to uh, kind of fear in the market again right now in the market I believe that there's not much fear mongering happening uh, this spy the S&P uh, is down about 0.3% uh, or so I don't think uh, people are cut I, I, I don't believe people are exactly worried about it uh, at the moment but I do, I do think that the worrying per se would actually come in really really strong um, nearing to the end of the week so people who have options uh, I can believe people would be buying a lot of options for this uh, for this week and the week after because people will be playing on this debt, uh, debt ceiling betting either the debt ceiling is going to be extended or betting that there will be a government shutdown but hey you know bet with what you want to do with it but yeah you know just invest safe but I think that's all I have for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye